Can I? Let's do an interesting grade 10 geometry problem that goes as follows. Three semicircles of radius 1 are constructed on diameter AB of a semicircle of radius 2. Hang on, hang on. That's four semicircles now. There's three semicircles of small radius constructed on the diameter AB, there's AB, of a larger semicircle of radius 2. So here's a big semicircle of radius 2, and yes, there are three semicircles sitting on, the, on that diameter. All right, that's the picture. Uh, what about these things? The centers of the small semicircles divide A, B into four segments of equal length as shown. I was kind of curious, this picture's a bit odd, I only see three segments here, but I guess that they mean one inch and one inch, so maybe that's two inches long. So I've got, I guess, oh yeah, radius one inch, radius one inch, and radius one inch. I guess that really is four segments, they just haven't drawn the center point. Maybe I'll just do that to make my life clearer. All right. Uh, what is the area of the shaded region that's between the large semicircle and outside these smaller semicircles? Okay, the shaded stuff. What's the area of that shaded stuff? And it gives five options which go as follows. Let me write them out here. I know they're on the screen, but just for my own sake, I'm going to write them again. A is pi minus root 3. B is pi minus root 2. Option C is pi plus root 3 over 2. And option D is pi plus root 2 over 2. And option E is 7, 6 pi minus what, root 3 over 2. The reason I want to do that, because I find these five answers curious. The first two answers are basically the same structure, but they oscillate between a root 3 and a root 2 within them. Ditto for the C and D, same structure answer, but they oscillate between a root 3 and a root 2 in them. And there's a fifth answer, which is their own beast by the looks of it. But, uh, you know, I'm sure I could just divide the shader stuff into regions of semicircles and actually work it out by brute force and get an answer. But the structure of these answers makes me think, I'm going to do some meta-analysis. Maybe I can sort of nut my way through which of these answers philosophically have to be right without actually really doing the problem directly. Wouldn't it be fun to do a meta-analysis like that? So let's do strategy number six, which is to eliminate incorrect choices. And what I'm really going to focus on is this root three, root two business. So when I see root three in a geometry problem, it really only comes up in one place in geometry, half equilateral triangles. You know, most people call them 30, 60, 90 triangles. There's lots of root threes in those guys. And root twos, when they come up in geometry, they usually come up from our 45, 90, 45 triangles, half squares. So my question is, in doing this problem, are there going to be equilateral triangles going on in this problem, or half uh, isosceles right triangles in this problem? So, hmm, I look at this, I don't see either of those, of course, there's all curved shapes, but, 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 part of me is compelled to actually draw on these radii. So that's two radii here in a semicircle. And I can actually argue that each of these, uh, what's it going to be? Distance 1, distance 1, because that's all radius. Uh, or if you like, oh, okay, my picture's really off, but give, forgive me, if I drew this line as well, that's also a radius of the smaller circle. I see 1, 1, 1. These are really equilateral triangles. Right off the bat, out goes B, out goes D in my meta-analysis. I bet the answer's either A, C, or E. Um, let me keep going. It looks like I'm going to be like working out areas of equilateral triangles and I guess subtracting them away. Maybe I'll work out the whole area, it's going to be something to do with pi, and take away some areas of equilateral triangles and these are just sectors of circles. So it looks like I have something to do with pi, take away sectors of circles, which is going to have formulas involving pi's, take away some equilateral triangles which involve root threes. I suspect the whole answer could be something to do with pi's, lots of pi's in some weird way, take away something to do with root three. Which makes me think option C is very unlikely, not with a plus sign. That's out. So without doing any work, I've just logically deduced, I bet the answer is either A or E. So, challenge for you, without doing the actual work, is the answer A or is the answer E? And can you work it out by saying which one it can't be? Think about it. Can you eliminate A or can you eliminate E? Lots of fun. So look at the essay that goes with this, with this video and see what I did. I actually did do it directly as well, because I want to just double check my work. But I actually figured out a way to eliminate one of these choices, A or E as well, just by pure meta-reasoning. I love doing that sort of thinking, it's kind of cool. All right, so meta-reason yourself and see what you get, and let's compare our answers. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.